Hey Dennis, I'm here on your uh, Hunter and Marathon. I'm gonna show you what we did today. All right, so starting up, we replaced this 4D battery. That's all good to go. Everything's fine in this hole. It is wired. Now this wire goes over to your inverter, which is over here. This inverter has been disconnected. It is disconnected also from the AC side of the house. Um, I did not plug it into AC power. Uh, my guess is it's dead um, because it's all been disconnected. So I didn't take the, uh, probably take me 30 to 45 minutes to hook this up to AC power and, and test it. I did not do that. Your battery charger needs to be replaced. So this had, I had good power going to this and it wasn't turning on, wasn't doing anything. Then all of a sudden, after like 20 minutes, it started doing something. But it sounds like burning electric when it's running. It's making a, I, I did another video, I'll show you what it sounds like. This, I, I don't trust it. Um, it also shut itself back off after about 20 minutes, so not working. Uh, DC wiring is fine. You've got an ACR down there that works great. Um, all that's fine. Your AC wiring is okay. Um, we trace this into the uh, boat and uh, I'll show you inside what's going on. Um, hey, while I'm out here though, I'm gonna show you your autopilot. I got Jeff inside rewiring something and I was troubleshooting your autopilot. Um, this <laughs> piece of plastic off of your wheel pilot broke off. This thing's just old. Um, but I don't know if you can see in there, all the, uh, the belt is gone. The clutch mechanism does not appear to be functioning anymore. Um, all this stuff down here is when I was testing it and running it, this is all pieces of your belt that just kind of fell out. Um, it's, uh, my guess is you need a whole new wheel pilot here because this, this doesn't seem right. But um, I guess you could get away with just a new belt. It's possible. Uh, your Garmin's not finding satellites. Uh, you can barely see the screen there. Uh, it's pretty ancient. Might be a time for a new one. Uh, other than that, your autopilot seems to function. So, like, you can hear the motor going. Um, it's not doing anything. I got it to turn a little bit, but I think the belt's just gone. It does, when I try to put it in auto, it does give me this no compass error. So we'd have to troubleshoot that a little bit. But other than that, your computer is getting power. It's working. Uh, this was showing me wind heading before. Um, it, it is not, it never showed the knots. Uh, most likely you got an issue with your transducer on top of the mast. Like I said, I just looked at this for five minutes. I didn't want to spend a lot of time troubleshooting it uh, until you want me to. And all right, we're gonna go down in the cab real quick. Hey Jeff, can I do, do a little video real quick? Sorry. Sure. All right, uh, so Dennis, you had uh, some Home Depot wiring in here like I showed you before. Here's one from last week. I don't know where this one goes. Uh, you had another one that was kind of Jimmy rigging. It just went to this outlet right here. All right. There's, there's the wiring. Oh, here's the wiring. Yeah, so this is like the stuff you buy at Home Depot. It should not be on boats. Uh, so we're just replacing this one run to the outlet. Otherwise, all the AC wiring on the uh, AC main side looks great. Um, this all looks good. I tested all your outlets in the boat. Everything seems to be functioning fine. Um, and then your other run to the air conditioner, which I have on right now. Um, also, I tested all the power and the connections back there. Everything there looks fine. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at.